uh, Travis Late is a educator, works in school education, just got a huge uh, award from Apple. Congratulations, Travis. I know you started using this system. Um, well, when Mike first told you about it, you did it right away. You didn't think you were going to use it much. And then all of a sudden you realized the power of it. I know um, it has connected you both um, to people and purpose in your life. So I would love for you to share a little bit about your story and a few of your cards tonight with everyone. Thanks, Callie. And yeah, I I didn't know how I was going to use this system. Uh, Mike, my the individual who worked with me and got me signed up and started, um, really encouraged me to use this in the school system and really build those relationships with our staff. I, my district role, I'm in a lot of buildings. I work with a lot of different staff. And this was a way for me to capture moments in their classrooms or celebrate them as educators. And then what's beautiful about the system is everybody, we live kind of in this Amazon world of we click and something shows up. What I love about this system is that in the moment, I act on my promptings. And about four to five days later, the prompting actually shows up and does the work because now it's landing when it just needs. And that this first card that I want to share with everyone tonight about is, is exactly that. I was scrolling through Facebook. This is one of our teachers, and she had posted all these pictures with her little boy at a rodeo that happened. And she just shared just how much fun it was and the memory she made with him. And I was like, oh, you know what? This is going to be an awesome card to send to her and have it arrive at school in a few days. And so I put those pictures together. I love our cards that we can customize. That photo on the front is from one of our cards in the catalog. And I sent it. And I walked away. Like I, I, I acted on my prompting and I walked away. And in a few days after the card arrived, I got an email. And the email said, Travis, thanks so much for this incredible card. My morning today was hectic, it was stressful, and I even arrived at work sitting in the parking lot crying, asking myself, am I cut out to do this? I come into school and you, here is a card from you, and I open it up and I'm reminded of my purpose. My purpose is my kids and my kids in my classroom. Thank you for always being there for me and sending these cards as a reminder that I matter. And so again, it was just an easy way for me to act on my promptings. I saw one of our teachers put these pictures out and I said, how can I show appreciation to them? Use the system, use the cards. The next card is a card that really is, is touching because this gentleman and his wife were really a big part of my life growing up. Um, growing up in a small community, in a small church, these two played a huge role in my life, in my faith walk, and they were always there on youth trips or uh, different outings. And so once I started sending cards, I, I sent cards to people I hadn't, I hadn't connected with for several years. And so Dwayne and Linda, I, I started sending cards. I got reconnected with them. Um, I messaged with them periodically. They always would put fun pictures up on Facebook and I would grab those pictures and send them cards. And this week, this card, it's it's harder for me to talk about because Dwayne gained his eagle wings. He went to be with the Lord and it was totally unexpected. This was the last card I sent them saying happy anniversary. And I think this picture says a lot you, when to a picture perfect couple. They were they they loved each other. They loved the Lord and they love kids. And I'm just thankful that since I've started sending, I was able to reconnect with Dwayne. I was able to reconnect with Linda. And I looked actually this week after I got the news on Monday that he had passed, how many cards I had sent. And I've only been with send out cards for a little over two years. And in those two years, I have sent Dwayne and Linda over eight different cards. And I would not have without send out cards, without this system to act on our promptings when we see it. And that's what I love about this. When I got started, they told me, we scroll through Facebook or Instagram all the time. And what happens when we see something cute or adorable? We usually have an, we have, we, ha we have an act of something like, oh, that's cute, or we like it. Well, now I save it and I come back to it later and I send that as a card. So rather than just 
having it be a moment in time, I try to capture that moment in time and connect with people. My last card is, is exactly that, that type of connection. This is Austin and his wife. They had a new little girl and Austin's in the insurance business. And I've been sending Austin cards. Austin and I went to the same university. So we have connections there. And so I would send Austin some fun cards throughout. And he's got them all displayed in his office because the other day when I met with him to talk about send out cards and how he could use this as a connection and a relationship builder, they're all on his on his little window shelf. Um, and he told me the one that really pushed him over the edge was this one. When he got this card with that gift, the little pink giraffe, which is one of my favorite gifts, either the, the pink one for the little girls or the blue one for the boys, this card is a fun card because of the gift and the meaning behind it, and that is celebrating him as a new dad. It was his first time. And so when he got this card and the feelings he got from it, his message to me was, Travis, we need to meet. I've got to figure out how to build this into what I do every day because you have sent me so many cards and you've connected with me. I want to figure this out. And so last week I met with Austin, we talked about this and we talked about it from kind of more of the mindset. How can I send without any intentions? All the stories that you maybe heard tonight from Cody's stories to Joy's stories to mine, they're all sent with no intention, no intentions of anything coming back to us besides the joy of sending. Now I'll tell you when I get those messages back, those those messages mean the world to me. And that's that's my purpose, like that's my why. I'll continue to send and I'll continue to show appreciation to others just, to, just in hopes that it makes their day, it lands when it needs to land and it makes that impact out into the world. Just that little ripple effect can start to create a wave of kindness. So. Those are my three cards, Callie. It's it's been fun. I I can't see myself without it. <laughs> I love that, right? And Cody has taught us to celebrate people while they're living. And you did that with those mentors from a right that because of this system you were able to reconnect i had a teacher in my life that i was able to reconnect with and you know i i know what that means to people and what they mean and you got to celebrate him while he was living not you know say kind words after he was gone and that is the power of the system and i love that you know this is an amazing tool for insurance agents and it's really a adopting that mindset of just giving, right? Because what you give out in life comes back to you tenfold. If we could teach the business world and we're out to do that, that meant that mindset, wow, amazing things can happen in people's business. So Travis, thanks.